Okay guys, so we're on Thursday, day three in the gym. We've got lower body, excuse the lighting. It's, it's early, it's dark outside. So let me get into the gym and let's talk. And then there was light. Here we go. Okay guys, so we've got clean pools and box jumps to get us going after this, uh, or not to get us going, but that's just what we have. Um, after this warm up, I've been saying this throughout the Visible Labs project, let's call it Invisible Labs project for now, but we're getting there, we're getting there. Two and a half kilograms down, this is, like I said, week three. Um, day, day three in the gym, but day four of the program, I mean, I've done one, two, three, four sessions already. Uh, I still need to do an overview of what I'm doing outside of the gym, because that stuff's more important, really. Um, I'll do that another day. So, but yeah, suffice to say, I managed to get in some time on the tatami already this week, so I'm really happy about that. Um, I'm just working on a few, a few things. Um, and then I've got in some temple runs on Tuesday after the upper body session. If you follow me on Instagram, you will uh, get the details of what I'm doing daily. But uh, I will do a video here, just sort of maybe at the end or halfway point, just showing you, um, you know, what I'm doing for fitness and, and the progressions. Remember, this this program's for me. Um, the whole idea is that I maintain or get back to a reasonable point of, of strength um, that, that I've had previously. And, um, you know, if I'm within 5% of that, I'm pretty good. In terms of, for me, I'll be pretty happy. When I say I'm pretty good, I mean I'll be pretty happy. Um, I get the body composition down. I mean, that's the main thing. So as I'm getting the body composition, improving that, you know, making sure I'm not sacrificing strength, really. And I'll be measuring strength through the classic lifts. So yeah, all about the walking mobility when it's early in the morning. All about the walking mobility. As I mentioned the other day, I really like <coughs> excuse me, um, to get into this position before I lift, all right? Even if my back is curved right now, that's okay if my back's curved, then I can pop up and get it straight and just hang out in this position, twist slightly. I mean, my knee's in line with my toe, right? But I'm just shifting, twisting's probably the wrong word. Just shifting, getting comfortable down in this position when I come to do my clean pulls, I'm actually starting from a higher position than, you know, this. I use my hand as well, it's no problem. As you're waking up, change the stance. Let's get a couple of, a couple of reps down there, spending a bit of time to get the legs going, you know, coming down, popping up, popping down, playing around with it, basically. Okay, so it doesn't matter who you are, what you do, you should always, always, always be having some time in your warm-up um, to practice the movement with an empty bar. That's what you should be doing before you bench press with an empty bar, doesn't matter how strong you are, with a uh, squat, empty bar, with clean pulls, empty bar, okay? Now, bench press, there might be an exception if you've been doing press-ups and whatnot as part of your warm-up, but that's, that's the only exception I can really think of. So, always be warming up, Playing around with it with an empty bar. Okay, and then step by step, we'll get some weight on. 
So obviously this doesn't count as a, a working set, you know, 60 kilograms. But it's important not to, not to skip this step. Again, gradually warm up. You know this, you know this, but do you do it? That is a question. Very important, especially in the morning. Maybe you feel rushed, I don't know. Okay, that is super set with box jumps. Now, when you're doing box jumps, and I tell this to my athletes, um, step down from the box, come down from the box, like with ease, okay? Do not jump down from the box. All right, that sounds silly that you're telling poor rugby players to do that, but it's just an impact that you don't need. It's just a, you know, there'll be times we're working on Landing mechanics, deceleration, yeah, sure. Right now, that's not what we're about right now, okay? We're about just using the box jumps as a bit of a power stimulus. It's a jump, okay? And then just step down, all right? You don't need any problems with Achilles or knees. I'm not saying that that... Let's just, let's just play it safe. There's no benefit right now for us to jump down, okay? Especially if we're very casual about it, okay? Especially if we have lots of high speed running that we're doing. It's just jump up, okay, that's it. And then come down the way that I'm gonna show you now, okay? Obviously we'll just go low, warm up, and then we'll go uh, heavier load on the clean pools and uh, a higher box. Okay, some easy box jumps at knee height. At this height, obviously I can just step down, which is good. Okay, that's simple. That's simple. And then we'll go, uh, we'll get this 30 centimeters on. So what does that take us up to now? 40, 30, 70, 70, plus 15, 85, plus five, 90, 90 centimeters. Okay. Well, yeah, that's fine. That'll be fine. I can make it higher if I need to, but um, main thing is I'm jumping as high as I can and just as a consequence, I'm landing on the box. You know, you can't do that. Um, you can't not jump as high as you can if you like, when it's this height for me, because I need to be sure that I clear it. So yeah, jump as high as you can, lift your knees up, a very, very simple exercise. Okay guys, we're on to our clean pulls and I like using straps, okay? Uh, for the clean pulls and really any deadlift now. Um, look, this raw footage type video, like a lot of people, a lot of people will not watch because it's long. Um, it's just me training. It's not super exciting. There's not flashy stuff going all over the place. Um, but the the people that do watch the sort of true followers, if you like, uh, I don't like that term follower though, um, but the people that follow my channel that are sort of, you know, want all the details. Um, this is where the... This is where you get a lot of information, just trading with me here, okay? So look, you know, the straps are very useful for power exercises, they're good for deadlifts as well. I think there's other things if you if you want to train your grip, because um, that's usually the rebuttal, you know, oh, train your grip. It's like, man, let's put on a gi and, uh, or, or, or go no gi and try and take my collar off, my collar tie. Um, but chin-ups, rows, uh, there's lots of other things that I think are, are great for grip. Don't get me wrong, if you're doing like 70% um, and you're doing deadlifts or you're warming up, you know, there's a certain point I just keep using a hook grip uh, until I get to the point where it's a working set and I don't want the grip to be a limiting factor on, on the movement. So that's kind of why, you know, um, I'm looking for good triple extension, good connection to the bar. I don't want to lose the connection to the bar. Uh, you know, I don't need chalk. My hands are sweaty. I don't know if you can see that now, but I'm sweating. Uh, so this just removes all that, you know. I've done a video on how to get tight, tight, make these tight, because a lot of people still don't know how. Uh, but anyway, enough chat. Let's, uh, let's lift.
Okay, last set of box jumps. So you see I'm putting my hands down, taking the weight on the hands to not put it on my feet as opposed to just jumping down like I'll do here now. Um, this is just to save the Achilles. Again, nothing might happen, but something might happen, depending on the whole program. So, sorry, fourth one, here we go. And I'll jump down quickly to show you. That's not what we want to do. Can you do it? Yes. Can you get away with it? Yeah, maybe some guys, yeah. Um, certainly for a few sets and reps, but do you want to be doing that constantly if you're not in a sort of time situation with CrossFit? No, if you're a rugby player or athlete, then the benefit of the box jump is to jump high, catch yourself and squat up. That, that's it, okay? The, it's not even an eccentric portion, the, the descent from the box squat, does it, it, it's irrelevant. Unless you're doing um, landing mechanics and that's that's built into your program and I wouldn't be supersetting that. And this is what I mean. So you might be, you might have to, you know, uh, jump up. So here we go. Okay, <laughs> that was a bad one. And then fall down and catch yourself. So it might be like catch yourself in a decent squat position like this from a height and just hold that position and own that position. Um, but yeah, if that's what we're after, that would be, you know, written in the program, so. Okay guys, so now we're on the Desmotech of Justice, using a bit of flywheel technology via Desmotech. Um, so I'll show you how to set this up. You need to clip yourself in just like, uh, just like you would like a squat belt or something, but then you got to adjust the height, okay? We got one disc on just now, that's their, their pro disc, so the, the heaviest disc that they have, but obviously, or no, maybe not obviously, um, but with flywheel technology, the more effort you put into it, the more you get out of it, which is, you know, a cliche for training, but that's literally the case when you're using flywheel technology, because it rotates on a spinning disc, of course, and it's not plate loaded. So, um, <clears throat> The, the first few reps are what I call free reps where you're just finding the range of motion that you're going to use, that you're going to put your brakes on at. So obviously these reps don't count, okay? And then when you feel like you've got the range of motion that you want, which will be higher than like your traditional back squat, that's when you start to really push and then the machine pulls you down. So here we go, we're gonna do five, ready? Here we go, now I'm gonna push. One, two, three, four, five. Now, that looks silly. If you're watching it from there, because you can't feel the pull. So when I'm at the bottom position, you know, this is trying to break my posture, it's trying to pull me down. I feel it so much on the quads. Um, so I'm keeping high. Um, and it's, it's great, you know, you have to fight against that with as much energy as you can to come all the way up. And then of course, it's pulling you straight back down because you've set the distance. So there's constant tension, there's a few differences and I'll do like a proper, you know, flywheel training, traditional training 
video about pros and cons for both because at the end of the day it's a training um, method this is a training tool and, and you know doing it this way is a method um, there's pros and cons to every method to every tool to every every um, protocol that you use there's pros and cons that's just it's like what's it's not what's right to do it's what's right for now that's that's what you should be thinking about like it's not uh, is this program good uh, it's like is this program good for now now some programs obviously you're like well well that's just nonsense because it's what's the adaptation there who knows um, so obviously, you know, there has to be some, you know, a program has to follow certain principles of training, right? Uh, specificity, um, progressive overload, these things like this, we won't get into it. But um, yes, really enjoying incorporating these into my training, especially, like I said, I've got so many other things going on. Um, and after it, I just feel free, springy, feel good. I talked about this in my last video. So yes, we'll get back into um, another set. But I do appreciate from the outside, it looks a bit like, well, what's going on here? Okie dokie, last set. Last set on the RDLs. Here we go. Give it a, give it a spin, get it going. <clears throat> get the slack out, good, okay. Ready to pull this time, here we go. Madonna, as they say here in Italy. Cool, all right, step up, single leg box jumps, let's go. Now, step ups, big fan of step ups with um, a barbell, okay, load it up, use a barbell. I'm gonna use dumbbells today. Both are great, it just depends, you know, whatever you're most comfortable with. Um, my preference for me personally would be a barbell. Obviously you can, well, it's easier to load heavier. Um, but today I'm on dumbbells. Uh, I've got a little bit niggly elbow and wrist um, from jiu-jitsu yesterday. Um, these these wrist lockers, these or these. So this sort of stuff, you know, from my point of view, not that you've asked, but uh, should come as a distraction to set up your main submission from a dominant position. But there's some people that just hail Mary it. They're just they're just like I don't have anything. I'm just going to throw this on, and it's. It's just annoying. It doesn't, it obviously, doesn't, it doesn't, unless you're, you know, really sleeping, it doesn't finish you because you're like, oh, there's a wrist lock, get, you know, move, move my hand, take us back in another way. But uh, yeah, man, it affects your training. So it's a bit annoying, to be honest. It's good to be part of the game because it keeps you, keeps you awake mentally. But it's like, you know, my style would be, you know, have, have probably three submissions there to go use, the, he's, he's, you know, maybe he's blocking where I want to go next, I'll use a wrist lock as a distraction, you'll have to have a reaction and then that opens up other things, that's the way it should be used, in my humble opinion. Not that you asked, but that's why uh, I'm going with dumbbells, it's a little bit more forgiving, so if you're a rugby player, same thing, like maybe, you know, falling on the ground or whatever, you just got a little niggle, use the dumbbells, no problem, keep it everything neutral. So, um, yes, what are we doing? What are we doing, guys? You tell me. 30? Okay, okay. Let's start with the 30s, I hear you. I can find them in this absolute jungle of a gym. So we've got 30 here. Opla. Who was last in here? I'll have to have a chat. I have to have a chat with them. Okay, so just like my first video, foot's gonna be always here. You step up and come down easy. One, two, three, four. Same thing over here. Whoopla, there you go. Two. Three. Four. Okay. Now, the most important thing I can share with you in all my videos and everything, I'm about to do my superset. In fact, let me do that first and then I'll tell you. <coughs> so. This. Yeah. Two. Three. 
three. Four. So guys, done and dusted, session finished. That was a good one. Take me, took me a little bit longer than I would like just because I'm throwing up the camera. Um, so, you know, that's why I don't do raw filming all the time because it's just, um, well, you know, it's quicker if I don't. <laughs> so that's kind of why. Um, but yeah, off to have my second breakfast. I mean, when I wake up early, I do eat before I go to the gym this early because I want to perform, you know, I want to get in and feel energized and have hit my numbers that I need to hit. So I do eat. Again, I'll do like a nutrition video what I'm eating um, as part of this sort of playlist series thing because I think people might be interested in it. Um, again, this is my training, it's what I'm doing. You do you. And the same thing comes to with nutrition. Um, but there's certain principles that I'll follow. But anyways, time to go back and have some of my oats, milk, protein shake. Yes, I'm excited. And I've got a nine o'clock coffee. That's... Uh, it's the little things, guys. It's the little things that uh, that you get excited about, or or certainly that I do. So the wee nine o'clock coffee that, that might sound a lot sad to a lot of people, but um, I look forward to it. So you know, again, I'll just do what makes me happy, and you you do you. So guys, if you are still watching, first of all, I give someone give yourself a medal. You need to give yourself a medal, okay? Um, but if you are still watching. And you like this sort of stuff, I'm not even going to ask that you subscribe because there's no way you'd watch this if you haven't. But I'm going to say, um, leave me, drop me a comment so I know that, you know, even if, I mean, this video, even if it gets 100 views in its lifetime, right, which it just might well do, uh, maybe if if, uh, if we're lucky, like, I'll make these type of videos because it'll be the, the people like yourself watching, but you'll watch all of it. And so you might get something from it. So let me know if you get something from this sort of style of video, if you like it or whatever. Um, and even if it's really looks like no one's really watching it or whatever, but I see that there are, you know, the the true supporters of the channel that are that are watching, then I'll definitely make more videos like this. Like um, if someone's getting something from it, from the bits of the conversation in between, then absolutely. So uh, yeah, let me know. Uh, have a good day, guys. And happy training as always. Ciao. Yeah.